it. And welcome to Reading, Pennsylvania. My name is Ed Terrell. I'm a local artist here at Reading, Pennsylvania. Today we're going to go on a fantastic mural tour of the amazing murals of Reading, Pennsylvania. When you come to Reading, you'll be able to tour the city and see all the murals and the fantastic artwork that's hosted here in the city of Reading, Pennsylvania. We're down at 7th and Laurel looking at one of the murals that we put together about three years ago. It's called Reading Iron Playground. Reading Iron is a historical landmark where at one time there was a big steel mill here in this area and the people that migrated here from the south were African Americans and a lot of them worked in that steel mill. And right here in this parking lot here was a, a corner store where they did their shopping. And this mural depicts you like that. There's such so many varieties of murals in the city you will see on this tour. Up at the very top here, you'll see some of the, the women who helped design Ready Iron Playground back in the day. And this historical picture here is how, how this street used to look like with children playing and people sitting out on the stump. And in the background, you'll see the skyline of Reading. This mural was sponsored by the uh, Wells Fargo Bank. That's one of the churches that's on, the, on South 7th Street Church. This group of men here, the baseball team, the Reading Iron uh, baseball team, and over to the, the far right is the garden that you will have here right now in present day in Reading Iron. It's down on the side here, and in the background we have the pagoda, and up at the top you'll see the, the, the steel, the steel uh, mill uh, furnace a smelting pot, and it says the Reading Iron Playground Association. There's an old saying that goes along with the art. A picture says more than a thousand words, and as you look at this mural, there's a lot of history to it, and I was, I was approached by the, the Reading Housing Authority, Neighborhood Housing, they came to me and asked me if I would like to take part in this mural. And later on, I met with the uh, donors from the Wells Fargo Bank, they wanted to give back to the community. So that's how the collaboration began. And this mural means a lot to me because it's talking about the history of the African American in the city of Reading, Pennsylvania. So if you're ever down this way at 7th and Laurel, come down and see this wonderful mural. Continuing our mural tour today, we're down at Six and Franklin. This mural was put together by the Council of Chemical Views and myself, Ed Terrell, and a lot of students from around the city. Uh, if you see their pictures in the, the mural, it depicts them as you. The mural is saying from the bad side to the good side. The bad side is where all the cigarettes are, and the good side is where the garden is. So basically, it's an it's educational an informational type of mural that's educating the public or the onlooker as they see these murals. Moving right along with the mural tour, this wonderful mural tour of Reading, Pennsylvania. I'm standing up on Penn Street, the main artery here in Reading, Pennsylvania. This is 9th and Penn, and the mural that you see behind us was also put here by myself at Terrell. It was put here to enhance this old building that was falling down. This particular type of mural is called bombing. Well, I, I never got permission to put this one up. I put it up because it needed to have something here to change the facade of this building. This building is, is uh, condemned, and you never know uh, what the history or the future of it is going to be, but art has transformed it, as you can see. Art can change a community. Here. 
Zero. At one time, there was a farmer's market just right up the street here, and I was commissioned to do this mural by the city of Reading to depictuate, to depictuate the good, healthy foods that people can consume. This is like the, the main artery, so it's like the marketplace. Across the street is the senior citizen home, so a lot of people get to see the variety of foods and vegetables that they were selling here at the farmer's market at the time it was there. It's no longer here the farmer's market, but the mural still maintains a, a strong presence. Let's keep it moving. We're going to be moving on to the next mural. There's lots of murals here in the city of Ready. Come check them out. Here we are at one of the icon locations here in Reading, down by Reading Area Community College, one of the murals that depictuate looking forward, looking backwards. This, this mural was put on an old canal bridge, and it's just picturing the past and the present, where you have these young kids who helped us paint it, who put their images on it, and some of the other images are from the past times here in Reading, Pennsylvania. Please come on by and look at these murals. Once again, we're at one of our murals here in Reading, Pennsylvania. We're located at 3rd and Penn Street. This mural was put together by Rupanuga Terrell, a very young and up-and-coming artist. This mural depicts the 1960s in correlation with the thrift shop, the clothing store here. This is on the main street of the, the city of Reading, Pennsylvania. Come on by and check these murals out. The art and culture of Reading is booming. the Garden of Good Thoughts. We're out here on our mural tour and at the Garden of Good Thoughts there's lots of art that we're going to be showing you this afternoon. Welcome! The Garden of Good Thoughts is a garden that's been put together by local community members and we're highlighting the art of gardening and we're highlighting also the art of murals and creative expression. Come with us and walk through the garden. Here at the Garden of Good Thoughts you can come and have a nice seat and relax on these very creative colorful benches that's been created by local artists. The Garden of Good Thoughts is a very tranquil place where there's art that's been displayed to kind of mix together with the garden. Garnia is a beautiful combination of mixing the nature with the expression of art and colors like these benches. Look at the beautiful colors that they are and on the benches there's various messages. Art is something that comes from a deep part of the artist's soul. And when you have artists in your community, such as we have in Reading, Pennsylvania, it's good to focus on their talent and their creativity to create beautiful spaces like this. Here at the Garden of Good Thoughts, we have focused on a lot of icons in our society. We have Muhammad Ali and Jimi Hendrix. Love your community. We have decided to put various images of icons in our community on the wall here so that we can give recognition to them and, and give inspiration to our young kids. This is Michael Jackson. This is uh, Tupac Shakur. Of course, this is Biggie Small on the wall. So here at the Garden of Good Thoughts, we decided to put these images up of minorities to reflect the image of this community. This is the Sixth Ward, and it's mostly uh, occupied by minority people. So we put images in our murals so it would be a form of education and information, a form of inspiring our young youth to see images that reflect them. It's very important that we reach out and educate our young people through our ancestors. If you're passing through the community of Reading, Pennsylvania, this garden is located at Schuylkill Avenue and Walnut Street. You will always know it by the happiness sign that's been put up. Welcome to the Garden of Good Thoughts. Welcome to Reading. Here we are at the Queen City Diner on Lancaster Avenue. We're winding down from the mural tour and we hope everybody really enjoyed this excursion today through the streets of Reading to see some of the art and culture that we have here to offer. We're going to show you some of the murals that we have installed here at the Queen City Diner. 
We have a collection of three murals here at the Queen City Diner that has been installed by the artist Ed Terrell. This one depictuates some of the uh, highlights of Reading, Pennsylvania. You'll see the pagoda, you'll see a Reading Railroad, you'll see the tower, and you'll see the German uh, bird of this community. Please come on by Queen City Diner sometimes and check these murals out on our mural tour. The murals of Reading is something you have to come and see. It's a collection of murals that you will never forget. And don't forget, oh, to check First County Artists, other attractions. I'm Ed Terrell, and I thank you for watching these Murals of Reading.